Hi, everyone. My name is Erin Kling, and I'm a physical therapist here at The Running PTs. And today we are going to go over how to enhance recovery. Why do we need to go over recovery? Because as a whole, runners don't do the best job at it. So we have a tendency to overtrain and under recover. As runners, we love to run. So if we have time to get in a few more miles, we're going to do that or spend more time uh, foam rolling or stretching or doing all these things to just allow our body to get ready for the next training session. So we're going to go over a few reasons why recovery is important, along with uh, the certain things that you can focus on to optimize your recovery. When you think of just the overall volume of what you do, I want you to think of it as a graduated cylinder. So we fill up the graduated cylinder based on the things we do, and then think of the spilling over point as uh, your point of injury. So we already have a little bit of volume of that graduated cylinder filled up already, just based on our anatomy. So we are more at risk for certain injuries just based on how we are made. Now, add in some increased run mileage. That's all well and good, but as you start to build and build and build, that does put a bit more uh, stress on your body. Now add in some work stress, add in some family stress, add in some spin classes and some hit classes and the inability to sleep because of all this extra stress that you're having. So after a while, this just starts to add up. And because of that, uh, you eventually hit that theoretical spillover point, which is your sign of injury. So a big thing that I just want to point out with this analogy is to be aware of volume that you're doing to make sure it's not too much for what your body can handle. The other concept I want to go over is the acute chronic workload ratio. Think of this as the ratio of what you do over the course of one week compared to what you do over the course of four weeks, so one month. So this takes into account the idea of intensity. So think of intensity work as speed work, hills, races, anything that puts more load on your body. So the concept with this acute chronic workload ratio is just making sure that ratio is not too high because if it gets too high, that can lead to injury. And so taking this concept and make it more of a realistic standpoint is if you start to do hill work, speed work, start to do a hit class, and then you have a race at the end of the week that and it all happened within seven days and you haven't been doing that over the course of the month, that's a big spike that's really challenging for your body to recover from because it's just too much over a short period of time. So the idea to take away from this acute chronic workload ratio is to slowly build up. I, do not, I don't want you to step away from this thinking that you can't do races, that you can't do hill work, that you can't do speed work. It's something where you do this, but you trickle it in and progressively get used to it so your body can adapt to those changes. So what should you do? How can you optimize recovery? First of all, you need to listen to your body. So your body will tell you when you're sore, your body will tell you when you need to sleep. So listen to it when it's trying to send you these messages. The other thing to keep in mind is respect your anatomy. We all have certain gifts and have certain anatomies and just certain risk factors to certain injuries. So respect what your body is telling you, respect what your body is capable of doing um, so that you can minimize your risk of injury. So to prevent injury, make sure you get enough sleep, have proper nutrition, hydrate, rest, uh, and do what you can to strengthen muscles appropriately and specifically for your body, along with improved flexibility and tissue mobility. So we're going to go into a few details specifically with regard towards what you should strengthen, how you should strengthen, who should strengthen, along with those that uh, should work on flexibility and tissue mobility the most. So what type of runner are you? Are you tight or are you flexible? A lot of times we can figure this out just by going to a yoga studio and seeing who can turn into a pretzel and those that can't even touch their toes. So we all fall along a spectrum of a bell-shaped curve of those who are overly tight and those who are overly flexible, but majority of us will fall somewhere in the middle. By figuring out where you stand with being tight or flexible can help to dictate what you should focus on when it comes to recovery. So if you are an overly flexible person, then it's important for you to work on stability and strength. This does not mean that you need to go and pound out some weights at the gym. It can be helpful to do some level of lifting for, uh, for you to be able to control uh, that excessive amount of range of motion that you have. But the main focus for you, at least with regard towards running, is work on that stability, work on that strength. 
Uh, so core stability, single leg stability, balance, all this kind of stuff are all component parts of what make runners really efficient. And so if you're overly flexible, it can be helpful to work on those things. If you are more of a tight individual, you are the one that you might be more at risk for straining. And so it's important for you to work on mobility and flexibility. So having those more long duration stretches to really help you um, be able to limit your risk of straining anything. Majority of the time though, individuals will fall in the category of a little bit of both. And so it could be good to work on both mobility. So foam rolling, trigger point release work, things like that, and stability. So core work. Uh, single leg balance, all that kind of stuff that we previously uh, went over. Uh, doing a combination of the two can be helpful, but knowing what group you're in can help you to be able to prioritize what you should focus on. What's the point of all this? So my goal for this is just to, for you to have a general layout of why recovery is important. Keep an eye, having you keep an eye on both intensity and volume of what you're doing to train. And just giving you an idea of what type of person you are so that way you can have a better idea of what you should do and what you should focus on.